Hi, my name is Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus, and today I have a tech tip for you on testing and replacing a battery using Altel's BT608 battery test tool. Let's hop over here to the vehicle and take a look at actually testing this battery first of all. All right, so we're over here in our vehicle, uh, and I've got the, the Altel tool uh, already powered up. Uh, now the nice thing about this tool is the fact that it communicates with the vehicle uh, as well. So uh, it'll look for things like battery resets or battery registrations if they need to be done. Uh, but the first thing we'll actually do here, we're going to take the VCMI uh, that comes with this Altel tool. We'll plug it into the DLC of our Equinox here uh, and get this thing connected. Okay, now that we've got our VCMI plugged into the vehicle, uh, let's take a look at the tool uh, and see how we get into this test. So the first thing we're going to do here, once again, we're already powered up. Uh, we're just going to click in vehicle test. Uh, there's going to be a, you know, a typical software uh, disclaimer here. Uh, we're going to hit accept on that. Let the scan tool realize what's happening. And there you see it's already uh, is decoding the VIN number uh, for this Equinox. So it saves us time there. Uh, this tool also has a built-in camera on it. Um, so you can take a picture of the VIN uh, and it'll do it that way. Um, so next thing you have to do here, it, it gives you a listing uh, for several different uh, battery specs. Uh, we've already looked at this one, obviously, uh, in our Equinox, and it says top selection is flooded, uh, SAE uh, with a 525 CCA number. So I'm going to select that. And you see it's pulled up in our menu down at the bottom. I'll hit next. And it's going to tell me to uh, connect our leads here um, to the scan tool. I've already done that, uh, that are provided with it. It has our clamps to hook onto our battery. So we'll go ahead and get that done. I'll connect this thing up. It's already connected to the tool. We'll hit next, and then we'll connect it to the battery itself. Make sure we got a good, tight connection on this battery. There we go. I'm gonna hit next on the tool. And it's gonna give us some operations that have to be done uh, before we test the battery. So turn off anything electrical, uh, the ignition is off, which it is, and close all the doors, which we're good there. I'll click Start Testing, and it's going to do a conductance test on this battery uh, to determine uh, where this battery is at life-wise. And there you go. Um, we knew this already. The complaint on this vehicle uh, was that uh, it was very slow to start this morning, and we noticed it when we went to bring it into our uh, in our shop here uh, that it was very very slow to start. So. Not, nothing surprised here, um, but it's nice to have. Uh, this tool will actually print that, that out for us. Um, so the next thing we'll do here uh, is actually replace this battery. Uh, but one of the things I always like to say is, I'm going to replace this battery, uh, but we have no idea. There's no way to test the charging system on this vehicle uh, in the state that it's in right now with this bad battery. Uh, so next thing we want to do is we'll replace it, and then we'll actually use the tool to test uh, the starting and charging system in this car just to make sure um, that there's no issues there and this car is actually good to go down the road. All right, we got the battery replaced in our Equinox. So let's go ahead and hook our tool back up again and we'll run through that battery test again and then we'll actually check the charging system on this vehicle uh, since we couldn't do it before with the bad battery in it. So let's get that done. So go ahead and get our clamps back out and get them attached to our battery again. All right, those are connected. We've already, we went ahead and left the uh, VCI in the vehicle. Now, one thing we're going to have to do here is actually change uh, the battery rating because this new battery is actually a little bit uh, stronger of a battery. So we're going to take this from a 525 uh, CCA up to a 650 CCA. So really easy on the tool here. We'll run it up to 650. All right, we're going to hit next. And same thing here. We've got to check off that we've turned off everything electrical. Uh, turned off the ignition and all the doors are closed and we'll hit start test and it's going to do its conductance test and there we go now we got hundred percent this thing is actually measuring at uh, 959 uh, with a rating of 650 uh, so this thing is good to go all right so this thing does everything in order so next thing we'll do is just hit continue and it's going to run the starter test, so we'll hit ensure the ignition is off, yes. We'll hit start testing, and it's going to say wait for the vehicle to start. So what we'll do is we'll do the test with the tool. I've actually got my colleague uh, in the vehicle, so he's going to start it for us, all right? 
So I've already checked off there uh, that the ignition is off. Correct, Jose? All right, I'm gonna hit start the test and go ahead and start it up for us. So there you go, it tells us that cranking is normal. 11.98 uh, volts, it took less than a second to start it up. So we'll hit continue. And it's gonna say turn everything off, AC is off, all the stuff is off. Okay, we're good there. We'll hit continue. Let the scan tool do its job here. And it's gonna say to go somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 RPM and hold it. We'll hit continue when it gets there. All right, you can come off the accelerator. So now we got it back down uh, to idle. And then now it'll tell us to turn the headlamps on, turn the AC on. We're going to load the system down. All right, we're going to hit continue. Now the tool tells us to take it back up to 2,000 to 3,000 RPM. We'll do that. We'll hit continue again. All right, and it tells us to release. We'll hit continue. All right, we can turn it off. We'll make sure everything gets turned off here. All right, so you see it ran through the test there. Uh, the alternator self tested good as well. Uh, did an unloaded test there at idle, unloaded at higher RPM, uh, and then went to a loaded test at a low RPM and a higher RPM as well, and that test passed. So a uh, really nice thing about this tool, next step you could do is, um, it's actually got a built-in uh, onboard printer, if you will. I can print those results out to show to a customer uh, or attach it to the repair order. Uh, it also has the capability of emailing straight from this tool uh, to either a shop email where it can be sent to the customer there uh, or uh, email it directly to uh, the customer. But this car we know is good to go. Uh, it had a bad battery. Uh, replace that battery then ran back through the whole system just to ensure uh, the starting and charging system on this thing uh, is healthy good to go uh, not going to give the customers uh, any more issues with it my name is Ryan Payne with the Garage Gurus and for more tech tips like this make sure you hit that like button also smash that subscribe button at the bottom we hope to see you next time thank you